Okay, number five, skip the numbers. What, what, what we mean is ignore analytics, both before, during, and after campaigns. That's the fastest way to have a hard time uh, justifying your marketing. Uh, I love this quote, half the money I spend every month is on advertising is wasted. The trouble is I don't know which half. It's kind of a sad comment, but this was before analytics were, this is the guy who invented the department store, by the way. Okay, skipping the numbers. The diagnostic is you probably have insufficient tools or skill sets in analytics. You might have weak builders, so you don't have analytics ready for your campaigns, and then you're not paying attention to those during the driver's phase. The solution is just being obsessed with metrics. That doesn't mean any metric you can find. There's a quick way to get distracted and confused pretty fast, but knowing that metrics matter. There was a, there was a, uh, a really cool survey that was done recently a bunch a, a, with a bunch of marketers in the kind of digital marketing industry. And the top two skills that were identified when somebody said, what are the skills that make you great at your job? Analytics was, was uh, number two on the list. Knowing how to look at reports, look at Google Analytics, look at metrics, knowing how to decipher that kind of stuff is really valuable. Another really cool way to think about metrics in your campaigns is to kind of do this in breakpoints. So if you say we're going to run a campaign and if we don't spend $1,000 in the first three days, that means people aren't clicking on our ads. So we'll try new ads. Or if, if we're getting a bunch of people to the landing page, but we're getting a conversion rate below 5%, then we'll look at the landing page. So kind of trying to play forward all the different situations you might have so that you're not kind of going, uh, what do we do now? The campaign's running and we don't really know what to do. Define these kind of breaking points or milestones can be really helpful. Segmenting, again, I'm gonna say this again, but segmentation can really help define your metrics. So if you can run campaigns to personas and you know, listen, this persona is probably going to respond better. This persona is going to respond lower, whatever. It just gives you a totally different uh, tool in your arsenal. Great persona thinking during your strategy phase can uncover insights for channels, content, product, and offerings. You're going to be able to measure all of those pieces uh, if you have a good strategy.